How do you tell someone that you're not a sneakerhead without saying you're not a sneakerhead? When you asking people why we still buying the same shoes over and over, it's a good chance. You probably not a sneakerhead. Super Sick King, a.k.a. Mr. Get Your Tank Top Ready. Oh, yeah. Coming to you fine people today. We're going to talk shoes. Man, you know, I was uh, scrolling on YouTube and uh, a question came up. You know, I got to give people props. You know, I'm not like that. I let people know. You know, it was uh, Dre the Shoe God. He had a question. People asking uh, with all the releases coming out 2025, why are people still buying the same shoes? And I asked, like, are people really still asking this? I know that uh, people ask this a lot, you know, 10 years ago. But are people still really asking that? For so many people to be sneaker heads now, it made me wonder, like, do people really understand why we have to keep getting retros of these particular shoes? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expound a little bit on what he talked about. And I'm going to go in details about why we have to keep getting these shoes over and over so many years. So let's take it from the top. First of all, Nike went through a spell where they didn't even give us shoes with the actual original uh, logos on it. For a long time, we had Jumpmans on the back of these shoes, and a lot of us wore them originally with the Nike Air on the back. And I'm going to give you an example of what I mean. This great five, an example of when Jordan Brand was giving us everything with Jumpman on the back. Uh, this is also a time that materials were trash on these shoes. So to be able to get this shoe again with the original Nike Air on the back with the shape change and whole lot better materials, you know, the shoe hasn't been out since 2013. Let's be honest. A lot of y'all get these shoes. You look at them as museum pieces, but the shoe's supposed to be war. Message. Anybody who's going to really wear a shoe, they know you're not going to have a shoe at the max of maybe 10 years. And a shoe 2013 is going to be out 2025, 2025. That tells you that it's done its time. But people like this particular silhouette. They like this shoe. If you are a true sneaker person, you'll be able to understand that. Next, we're going to talk about one that uh, a lot of people uh, keep saying about, oh, you know, uh, uh, I just don't understand why they keep buying these same old shoes, these same old shoes. And I'm going to give you an example of why people might have to keep buying the shoes. What you're looking at right now is the original and the retro, as you can clearly see. You know, it's it was definitely time for a retro of this particular shoe original retro and if you have any questions whether or not look at the actual shoe this is what happens to your shoes over time Message. you like this shoe you want this shoe back but of course if they don't bring it back you're not going to be able to have it so of course you know this is the original and this is the retro Anyone who has been in the shoe game 20 plus years, really in it, not just somebody who tipped in and out of it. You really been in it for 20 plus years. You already know this. You know what it's like when you go in the closet and all those shoes just start separating. So, you know, I still don't understand why people are asking these questions, why we uh, keep bringing these shoes back and why we keep buying the same shoes, because that really shows a lot of people are not so-called sneaker heads, as they claim. And I'm going to give you all another example that you can clearly see why we needed a retro. This is my O1 one pair of the Mocha 3. Of course, you know, this is shot out. Look at it. See? You see that. And this is the latest shoe. So now you understand. Look at the back tab. Now you understand why we get these shoes on a regular. That's the reason why. Because the shoes are not going to last that long from my generation for sure. Because we've had these shoes 20 plus years. They're not going to stick around that long. Also, the shoes for so many years, we didn't get the shoes originally. We got the shoes with uh, uh, Jumpman, 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 Bad Material, Jumpman, Jumpman. And so when they finally do give us something that's going to have better materials and we're going to get the original marketing, we own it. Say it again. 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 Say 
So I hope I cleared a lot of stuff up for y'all who has questions about why do we keep buying the same shoes over and over again? Because one, we love them. Two, they don't last forever. And three, they finally starting to give them back to us the way we originally want. But always remember over here, we keep the body tight, feet right, later.